See, you're what saying sure you, killer? why would you why no. would you leave trash uh, if you don't need to go to the top to do the next LM, point on trash? I was dead, so unless I yeah, but dumbass. it wasn't Alum. Possible. <laughs> Probable. I'm gonna skip for your stats. <laughs> was dude. there anyone else that was possible for that kill? I'm not gonna skip for the stats. It was between okay, us and the I'm beginning also. I stumped it. I, 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 bet, you, I bet you did. I bet you did. It was a very good kill on Aifa. It was a very good kill on Aifa. <laughs> well done, champions. Well done. <laughs> you really locked this Goodbye. one down. Unless we're wrong. <laughs> Unless. You fucking fool! Oh, Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, that's true. I saw the same thing. Also Did you know I also have the happen. highest win rate as imposter? Did you see that, wow. Toast? Kill him. That was impressive. Kill him. Kill him. No, no, I'm not the imposter. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for you no, it's, right I'm not the imposter. I just saw I the same post as you. No, yeah, guys, uh, guys, I just saw the same post. Paid. I swear, I just Let's saw the same post. I'm not the imposter. It's not me, guys. It's not me. Oh, okay. Oh wow, it's everybody like, you know, actually voted vote. for me. Literally Including yourself. I... <laughs> I'm not sure about you, but for me, that video of Sakuno in Toast Lobby back in the early days of Among Us really brought back some nostalgic feelings. And in light of Toast and Hafu's recent announcements of cutting back on Among Us gameplay, this might be one of the last, if not the last stats update. I want to put this disclaimer, these stats are for fun only and are not to be taken seriously. The aim of people playing in the Hafu lobbies is to have fun and make good content. It's not to maximize your win rate and play like a competitive Among Us tournament. To be transparent about the data, it only includes non-modded games of Among Us ever since the airship was released at the end of March. And it only includes players that have played five or more days in the morning lobby. In terms of crew win percentage, I think the Hafu lobby setup is actually pretty good. The rules actually encourages crew to win slightly more than average at 54.76% of the time, which I think is a pretty good thing to aim for. There's 11 players who are included as regulars in this data set, and guess who comes last? Ironically, it's Mr. Simply Crew himself, with a crew win percentage of only 50%. Suddenly, all the memes make sense now. <laughs> <laughs> Where Ellen belongs. Where <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh <laughs> Dubla, thanks for the gifted sub. Oh yes, dude! God. Yes, Annie! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? Oh my god! Next, we have plushies with a crew win percentage of 51.46%. Next is Dumdog with a 52.56% crew win rate. The next player, Annie, actually appears in the leaderboard for the first time, and she's been playing a lot recently, especially the modded games. She comes 8th with her non-modded gameplay with a 53.85% crew win rate. There's no way that 5-up deserves to be as low as 7th, but here he is. 6th place is Ifa with a crew win percentage of 54.35%. Despite getting wrecked by Steve so often, Koji actually does pretty well as crew with a 55.88% win rate. And despite all his tunneling, DK still has an above average crew win rate at 55.92%. Miss Crew AF has the third highest crew win percentage at 56.49%. You've probably noticed that meetings are conducted more systematically when Hafu is alive, and her second highest crew win percentage reflects that. Is there any surprise who Among Us's greatest detective is? Well, it's obviously Steve. He's been telling us this whole time. Not only is he the best sheriff, the best swapper, he is by far the best crewmate as well, with the highest crew win percentage at 59.46%. Here's a graph of all the regular crewmate win rates, just note the y-axis starts at 40%. But we know what you're here for, and that is the imposter win rates. Because who doesn't get excited looking at them? I think he did an updated um, video this morning. <gasps> it's not Annie. An updated I'm, I'm video. Okay, don't tell Hafu. Path. Don't tell Hafu. Don't tell Hafu I'm watching this. It just doesn't matter. We shouldn't care about this. Don't tell Hafu. Who cares about these stats, okay? I'm just looking. Sent imposter win rate. Dropping down to fifth place is Janet. You use that picture of me. How am I? I look so guilty? That's my face when I look guilty. With a 45.83% imposter win rate. When Hafu stretches. <laughs> when Hafu stretches. Hold on. Previous spot third. Imposter frequency 20%. Huh. Is Janet 
with a 45.83% imposter win rate. When Hafu stretches, she only wins 47.37% of her games, <laughs> good enough for 4th place. Tina is the only player on this week's leaderboard with single digit imposter game numbers, but she's won 5 out of 9 games, giving her 55.56% imposter oh, win rate. Tina. So after yesterday's gameplay, do you think Steve's still going to be number 1? No. <laughs> Sheep no. alert, uh oh. <laughs> if that was Tina, then she, she has got her... <laughs> oh, this is a cool YouTube channel. Else that was possible <laughs> for that kill? I'm not going to sit for the stats. It was between okay, I'm, I'm sending it then. The average imposter win rate for the morning lobby is actually pretty high compared to other streamer lobbies at 45.73% with the regulars doing better than the guests. In 11th place is Koji who has the lowest imposter win percentage at 23.53% in regular non-modded Among Us. Now before you start spamming get shit on Koji in the comments, know that this isn't truly reflective because in a recent Xbox tournament, he actually got the highest score in the Among Us section of that tournament. So I think I got a lot of points there. So we had two crew wins. One, we lost one game as crew. We won two crew games and we won both imposter games. And I think you get kills. I think you get points for kills. And I feel like in those imposter games, I did a lot of killing. In 10th place, we have someone who knows the bottom of the leaderboard way too well. And that is Trash, also known as Alum. In 9th place, we have Plushies, probably the only player with a less sincere voice than Stabons. In 8th place, we have 5up, who's been a bit unlucky, honestly, on the airship in terms of his imposter win percentage, as well as his frequency of getting imposter. Despite being new to the leaderboard, Annie actually does pretty well for herself, coming in at 7th with a 47.06% imposter win percentage. So Janet, I've used a less guilty looking picture of you, but unfortunately you've dropped to 6th place with an imposter win percentage of 51.35%, still very respectable. Hafu ranks 5th, meaning whenever she stretches, she wins 54.84% of the time. Dumb Dog actually does pretty good as imposter. Not only does he get it more often than anyone else at 27.1% of the time, his imposter win rate is pretty good at 55.17%. In third place is one half of Dumb and Dumber, DK, who actually has the worst luck at getting imposter, with the lowest imposter frequency of only 15.08%. Not only does Ifa excel at Valorant, he's actually really good at imposter as well. He actually has the second highest imposter win percentage at 56.25%, and he's the second most likely to get imposter with a frequency of 25.81%. Any guesses who number one is? I think I just need one more kill, right? Oh, DK, please. Yes! Oh, shit. Oh. Hey. Let's go, dude! Hey, little, little dumb and dumber! Holy little dumb and dumber, dude! Oh, Bro, do we even lose? Do we even lose, dude? Bro, oh. when is the last time we've lost? Oh we have game, literally bro. haven't on, on airship. I know, I think we're 100%. <laughs> you was it Steve man. who got Hafu? I killed Hafu. Yeah, it was nice. on the so Stabon actually has the highest imposter win percentage in the Hafu lobby at 57.58%. He also has the highest crewmate win percentage. No wonder Dumb and Dumber get it done. That's two of the best players on the same team. How does he do it? He is the main character after all. With all the charisma, all the wit, he doesn't even try to turn it on other people when he gets caught red-handed and try to force 50-50s. He just concedes those. Yet he still manages to get the highest imposter win rate as well as the highest crew win rate. Truly amazing. Here's another stat. We've recently hit 10,000 subscribers and I'd like to thank you all so much for your support. You know I read and reply to every single comment and it means so much, all the positivity and feedback that I've gotten today. Just a little bit more about me. You might have already guessed from my accent that I'm from Australia, but what you might not know is that I'm a full-time doctor during the day. So I do this video edit as a hobby, whereas my day job involves doing things like giving out coronavirus vaccines to people. That's why it means so much to me when the crew food take coronavirus seriously, wearing masks when they go out and talking about getting vaccinated before they organize large group gatherings. I've also received a lot of comments like this one from Pares recently, who says, thanks brother. I really appreciate what you are doing. Don't stop uploading lots of love from India in such a devastating situation here. Your videos make someone smile. Thank you. So wherever you are around the world, I hope you and your family stay safe during these trying times and I hope these videos can also bring a smile to your face.